left click on that and we're going to change this bottom vertical dimension so it comes up there we go and we're going to change that to 1.9 millimeters so 1.9 enter and now we can want to change this uh, width dimension as well and as you can see there is no width dimension so we want to find a way to get that width dimension. So there's two ways. One might not work, but we'll try it. So click on the dimension tool up in this top right corner. Just left click on that. And now once it's selected, you're going to left click on this line here. And then you're going to middle click out of it. As you can see, it's shown an error, but we know it's 5.53 millimeters in width and we want to change that to 4.95 actually no we want to change it to 6.5 sorry so we'll click out of that and we're going to create another rectangle so just to get the dimension so using that tool there actually what we might do is we'll click out of that so middle click out so to deselect it and then we'll just create a corner rectangle. That way we don't have to de deal with deleting lines. So we're just going to move that across here and we're going to click out of it with the middle click. And again, it, you cannot see the dimension line so we're going to make it a little bit bigger so just press ctrl z on your keyboard and that deletes that thing you just made and we're going to make the rectangle a bit bigger so left click on the rectangle tool and left click out here in the above this line in space and you're going to drag that rectangle down to meet with that green line and it should connect like that and you go even further on this line as well and then left click out and then middle click out again alright there we go so we've got our dimension and we want to change that to 6.5 so we'll click on that until it comes up 6.5 enter alright so this is the line we want to take these lines out to so because these lines are parallel to each other we can use the line tool up in this top left corner to make lines again just further out we don't want to drag them we'll just make more lines so left click on this line tool and left click on this point and then as you can see that is perfectly parallel line and it should just snap to that green line so left click again and then middle click out and now we're going to create another line over here on this side so left click on this line and then left click on this facing as well. So altogether that should be 6.5 in distance. So just as a quality check, we want to see um, that the length between this line and this line is the same as the length between this line and this line, okay? So we'll click here and we'll create a line and then we'll click again and create another line and it should turn green if it's the same line. Alright, what we might do is we'll create again another rectangle uh, just to ensure that it's completely symmetrical. So we'll use the corner rectangle tool, so go to that drop down menu click corner rectangle actually no what we might do is click out of that using middle click and we'll find the middle of this rectangle and we'll create another center rectangle and that will ensure that it's all symmetrical completely so we're going to use we, we know that this length is 1.9 millimeters so half of 1.9 millimeters 
is 0 0.95. So we need to find the distance between here and here that's 0 0.95. So we'll come over here and we'll, we'll create a rectangle. Actually, we'll create just a normal line. But we'll do it in construction mode because that way it doesn't actually come up with any actual lines. So click on construction mode once that's selected. Click on the line tool and left click on this point and then come down at any point. We're going to change the dimensions, remember, and we're just going to left click on that line and then it'll click out. So once we've done that, we're going to click the dimension tool and as you can see, it says 1.42. So we want to change that distance to 0 0.95 and then click enter. All right, so now we have our line our reference point for the center rectangle and we're just going to go around and delete some lines out of construction mode so click construction mode again so let's delete some lines so we want to match our rectangle to this here so we'll delete these lines and we'll delete this line and this line and this line and we'll also delete these inside lines. Alright, so we want to match the rectangle here. So click on the drop down menu for the corner for the rectangle and we'll choose the center rectangle. Alright, now using our construction line, we'll go to the end of it and we'll left click on that. And as you can see, it's snapped perfectly to the dimensions we chose. So that is the perfect dimensions there. If it isn't, then just uh, create this rectangle and then match the dimensions of the rectangle we made to match the sides because that will mean it's completely symmetrical. So you can middle click out of that and we won't make that line. Alright, now we've created our neck, head and stud on the top of the head. So we're going to extrude this face now, but first before we do that we has to be a completely solid face without any lines separating the shapes. All right, so we're going to go to our delete segment tool, left click on that, and we're going to delete these inner lines. All right, now we can middle click out and it should turn pink, but it hasn't. So that's okay though. So what we can do is it needs to be perfect lines. So it looks like this line is not perfect. So we'll need to delete these lines here. Yeah, there's just too many lines. So we'll create another line down the bottom there. And then we'll middle click out. And there we go. The facing is pink. If you're unsure, what you can do is you can delete all the lines and you can just trace around what you had um, with the normal line tool and that will create a pink facing and just middle click out of that to ensure that it's a pink facing because if it's not, we can't extrude it. Alright, so now we're going to click OK on that. So left click on OK. Alright, so we have our our facing of the sketch but we want to actually we want to give it some mass so in order to give it mass we're going to need to revolve it so the revolve tool will allow us to create a circle as opposed to just a square 